we all face a similar challenge. There's just a lot to get done every day to keep up and get ahead. And the important stuff we do fights against an ever-expanding flow of emails and calls and texts and tweets and meetings and news that tug at our attention. Yeah, all of us have learned to use a calendar and a to-do list to show up on time and get stuff done. And if you're more fanatic like me, you write down your goals and you create systems to help you stay organized. But I still find it hard during a busy day uh, to work on the bigger stuff that requires the most concentration the reading, the writing, the planning, the brainstorming, the thinking that creates the most value in my workday. I'd like to share with you a simple system I use that helps me with this problem. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. It was created in the 90s by an Italian graduate student to help him with his studies. It uses a simple kitchen timer and his was shaped like a tomato. And in Italian, the word for tomato is Pomodoro. Here's how it works. Uh, you pick an important task that you need to get done and you write it down. You set the kitchen timer for 25 minutes. You start the timer and you work on that one thing for 25 minutes without stopping. And when the bell rings, you take a short break. That's it. Yes, all of us are capable of long periods of concentration when we get really focused and in the flow. Maybe it takes the pressure of a deadline or working into the night or putting your headphones on. We stop the procrastination and the multitasking and we crank it out. But how many of you are capable of doing that on a Tuesday morning when you have an hour between meetings and your inbox is piling up and the task is really hard and not something you like to do? That's really what I'm talking about. The basic tool is a simple timer. Now this can be an actual kitchen timer or it can be a software timer that works on your computer or your smartphone. I use Pomodoro Desktop for Mac. And the key here is you need to be able to hear the ticking. Before you start a Pomodoro, you pick one thing that's pretty important and big enough, and you write it down. This can be any uh, task that requires some level of concentration. For me, it, it's usually the bigger stuff that I would put off till uh, evenings and weekends when I had a longer stretch of time to work on it. You simply start the timer, and you work on that one task for 25 minutes without doing anything else. That's long enough to make progress on any task, but not so long that it feels like a big ordeal or a major time commitment. And you're not trying to finish the task, you're just trying to make progress. When the bell rings, you stop and take a, a, a quick break. Really, you deserve a reward. Um, eat a chocolate, walk around, take a deep breath. Uh, reward your brain, make your brain feel good. You've just done one Pomodoro. You could see it's just the opposite of multitasking. By relieving our brains of the desire to work on multiple things at once, we can get a lot more done without the crazy pressure it usually takes to focus. If an important interruption happens, yes, you can stop and uh, stop what you're doing, but you need to start over and get through a full 25 minutes to uh, do a full Pomodoro. Why? Because we're training our brains, the brains that are already fighting against uh, distractions and procrastination. When you get the hang of it, it's easy to get a po couple Pomodoros done and then a few more. Imagine writing an important speech in 30 minutes or an hour each day, every day for a month, and enjoying each session. That's how I wrote this uh, speech. Pace is also important. If you do the same thing for too long without a break, your brain can get tired. I get antsy if I sit and do something for too long, so the breaks help me stay fresh and focused. The simple technique of writing down a task, concentrating for 25 minutes, and then rewarding our brains for doing great work feels good. And when your brain feels good, it, it will program itself to do more of it. Most people don't realize how distracted our brains really are. Did you realize that texting while driving creates the same level of impairment as drinking four beers? Our brains are under siege with digital distractions and multitasking. The biggest thing the Pomodoro Technique does for me is allow me to get more of the uh, deep thinking work done during a busy workday on a variety of tasks. I used to put all this off for evenings and weekends, and now I get more of the important stuff done during the day uh, with higher quality. The last trick to the Pomodoro Technique is to stop working and doing Pomodoros when you're not working. Our Italian friend encourages us to be free in our free time. I still struggle with turning things off, but I'm getting better. So I challenge each one of you to grab a kitchen timer and pick one task that your brain thinks is hard and do one Pomodoro in the middle of a busy day. I guarantee you the results will surprise you. Thank you very much.